Hey, what's going on? Back at y'all with another live. You know, I just want to stay consistent and keep providing you guys value. So um, I'm back on here live again, just staying consistent. And what this live is going to be about, obviously, it's a little bit. I'm, I'm, I, I created the caption that way so I can kind of draw you in. All right. Now, if you lose sight of this one thing, it's going to be all over for you. What's going on, Nicole Lawson? Good to see you on here. Good to see you on here. Um, make sure y'all share this out to some people. Um, if you're coming on, let me know where it is you're coming from, uh, what, what, where, where you're located. I love to see you know different people on here and connecting with them. All right. Now, um, the thing that I'm, I'm going to be talking about here tonight is um, what is that? What is that? Uh, I had it in my mind. I just had a, a, a lost lost my thought here. Hold up. Um, the the thing that I'm going to be talking about. If you lose sight of this, you'll never achieve anything that you want in your life, right? And that's the target, right? And and people people do this unknowingly, right? And I and I, I'll explain what I mean, right? So somebody they 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 set a target, right? Let's say they set, let's say someone says that they want to be a millionaire, all right? They say, okay, I want to make seven figures. But what happens, right? And and this is just a tendency, right? And and this happens a lot, so. They'll set that target of a million dollars, and then they'll start to break it down in increments, which is, there's nothing wrong with breaking your goals down in increments, right? You break it down to see, okay, where can I take this million dollars to get down, right? How, how can I take this million dollars down to something that's going to be, seem like it's going to be attainable for me? Uh, what's going on, Serimberia? Hopefully I said that right. Let me know in the comments. Uh, what's going on, Kimberly? Good to see you on here as well. So, when they when they start to break that million dollars down into increments, right? They get it to a, a place where it seems attainable, and then what happens, right? Unknowingly, right? Because you're trying to hit that goal, and, and if you never hit it before, what'll happen is you'll say, okay, let's say they break it down in increments. They break it all the way down into how much they need to make per day, right? So. To do that, let's just let's. I, I'm not gonna get all into the math and all that other stuff, but let's just say that a person needs to make forty dollars an hour, right? Let's just say that that, that that may not be accurate, but let's just say they need to make forty dollars an hour. Now they can sell something, right? Um, or they can set up like like what I do, right? Something I do is I I uh, I, I teach people um, YouTube, right? I teach them everything that I know about YouTube ranking. Um, you know what they need to do as far as thumbnails and, and so on and so on and I charge fifty dollars an hour right to do that right so so that means that if I do two hours if I sit down two hours with somebody and I teach them everything that I know about YouTube that's going to help them grow their business that if I sit down for two hours that's a hundred dollars that I just made in two hours right now what te what since what, what what seems to happen most of the time is that They'll look at that smaller number, and then out of nowhere, somehow that that smaller number becomes their goal rather than the million dollars. You see what I mean? So that's the that's the first mistake. And stay at keep keep in mind your 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 target goal. Once you get to that, if you keep that target goal, which is a million dollars for you, what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to how, how can I say this? You're going to take million dollar steps in your business if that makes sense what's going on Jennifer uh, Jennifer good to see you on here uh, uh, hello hey how you doing Carmen Shields good to see you on here uh, I'm not gonna say it again but she said surrender you said it wrong that's okay God bless I appreciate you for hopping on what's going on Rohan good to see you on here all right so so like I was saying it's okay for you to set your goals. If, if, if a millionaire is what you want, if that's your target, right? If that's your target, whatever your target is, your target may be smaller, right? Hopefully it's bigger. I, and, and in my honest opinion, um, I feel like a million dollars shouldn't be the target, right? 10 million should be the target. The reason I say that is because really and truthfully, what, what a lot of, what a lot of uh, uh, people won't tell you is that a millionaire is really somebody who's like how can I put it like 
they're they're safeguarding. They're they're, they're still in the safeguarding mode because a, a million dollars is really not that much in today's age, right? So they're still in that safeguarding phase. But somebody who's like a deca millionaire, which is somebody who makes ten million or more per year, right? That's a deca millionaire. So that person, I would say, that person would be able to live. Uh, you know a lot more a lot longer comfortably but a millionaire first off you have to you have to take into effect the taxes that come out right so you're getting taxed and you're gonna lose a good amount of that and what's gonna happen is hold up hold up y'all oh, my phone just completely fell <laughs> wow all right sorry y'all <laughs> all right so what's gonna happen you know what I'm saying? You're going to lose your money in taxes. Then you're going to you're going to feel like you have to safeguard your money, right? So when I tell people that when I you know when I talk to people, you know, in in, in my little, you know, my, my little sessions that I do is I tell them to set a goal, right? Set a set a set a goal that they feel that they can attain, right? But I don't want them I, I don't want them to lowball it, right? Cuz your goal is going to be your goal, right? If it's small, it's small. That's you, right? But for me, if I'm going to set a goal, I'm going to set a goal that is, it, it's going to seem impossible for other people. It's, it's literally going to seem impossible. But I'm going to make it seem, right, I'm going to break it down to where it's going to be attainable and, that, and, that, and you know, that's going to help me go from there, right? And when you start to do that, instead of focusing on the lower ball, you start to keep in mind your target. Uh, what's going on, Beverly? Good to see you on here. Uh, yeah, my <laughs> um, yeah, my phone completely fell. So, like I said, guys, um, I didn't want to make this live that long. I kind of just wanted to talk about um, the the mistake that I see that you know people make when they set their goals. When they set those goals, they set them high, but then they only focus on the lower increments. They don't keep the end goal in mind. All right, so. Like I said, um, I just wanted to hop on here, uh, share with you guys a little bit of value. Um, hopefully you got some value. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, um, a like, a heart, whatever you want to do. Um, you could just hit the button and then, and of, of course, Facebook could give the reaction. All right, so with that being said, um, hopefully you guys got some value. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next live. All right, peace.